If you've been looking to add call to action buttons, guarantee boxes and pricing tables to your Thrive Architect pages, then you will love this video. Hi, I'm Hanne from Thrive Teams. And in the latest update from Thrive Content Builder to Thrive Architect, there were some elements that were not included anymore. These are what we call component elements. The reason for this is that you can actually build them very easily yourself with Thrive Architect. But many of you have asked us to bring those elements back. And that's exactly what we are going to do. And even though we're planning on doing that very soon, we know that probably yesterday is better than tomorrow. And that's why I'm going to show you how you can get those elements back today. This is kind of an intermediate solution, so you will not be able to have the elements in the sidebar, but you will actually be able to save them as a template. So this will allow you to pick the one that you prefer that you were using on your website before, save it as a template and then use it again anywhere you want on your page. Let me show you how this works. So first of all, you will start from a blank page on your WordPress website. You can call this page anything you want because you don't even have to publish this page. So let's say we call this compound elements. From here, edit with Thrive Architect. Now, what you want to do is actually load the landing page with all the pricing tables or all the call to action buttons or the guarantee boxes on it. And then you can pick the one you like and save it as a template or you can pick multiple ones, of course. So the way to do this is if you go to your page settings and then from here, change landing page template. Now you will see in your templates that you have a new set, which is called element templates. So click on this set. And as you can see, you have CTA, which is call to action, pricing tables and guarantee boxes. Now let's take a look at the guarantee boxes. As you can see, you now have a page with a ton of guarantee boxes on them. And you will probably recognize some of them because we brought back the old design, the one that was already in Thrive Content Builder. So the flat design and then the classy design and the minimal design. But we also added some new designs for you. Now, the way to go about saving the one you actually want to use in your content is you have to click on an element in the box. So let's say that you like this, um, this new design. So this one with the background image. When you click anywhere within this design, let's say here in the text, you will see in the breadcrumbs the different elements that this whole element contains. So the way to make sure that you save the complete template is to click on the element that comes right after Thrive landing page. So in this case, it's a content box. Now click on it. So this will select the outer content box and then you will save this as a content template. So to do this, you go to the last menu item in your sidebar, which is called styles and templates, and you click on the green save templates button. From here, you can give your template a name. So this would be a guarantee box. Then you click on save the template. Now let's open a new page. This could be any page on your website. This can be a landing page. This can be just a blank page. This can be a post. And from here, you pick the content template element. So drag it on the page. And we saved it as guarantee box so you can find it here. And now, as you can see, this whole box is imported and every element is customizable. Now we made landing pages like this for pricing tables. So you will be able to get back the pricing tables you had in a uh, Thrive Content Builder. But we also made some cool new designs. So like these ones. And we did this for the call to action buttons. So for the call to action elements that you are used to having. And this way, you don't have to wait for us to bring back these elements and you can start using them on your website immediately. Now, if there is any element that you would like to learn how to make it in Thrive Architect, then please let me know in the comments below and I'll make sure to make a tutorial for you. And of course, if you have any other questions or comments, you can also leave them below.